Hi, I'm Rich Bowen, and this is the Voice of Apache. This is a conversation that I had in Bratislava about a service that the infrastructure team offers to Apache projects. This is a service from Gradle called Devilocity, and I'm talking with Etienne Studer about how your project can take advantage of this service and what it gives you. So once again, this is Rich Bowen, and we are recording at Community Over Code in Bratislava. And today I'm speaking with Etienne Studer. Thanks for making time to do this. Sure, thank you for having me. Etienne is involved in Devilocity. Could you give us a brief overview of what that is and how Apache projects use it? Yes, so Devilocity is a data platform and also an acceleration engine. Its goal is to, to capture insights about what's happening in your tool chain. So when you build your software in the IDE, locally and on CI, and surface that information in a, in a, in a way that you can make informed decisions, what to improve, what to keep. And on the other side, um, it can accelerate building the software um, by providing acceleration technologies like build caching, predictive predictive test selection and test distribution. Right? Meaning you have faster builds giving you faster feedback cycles so you can commit more often, you know faster whether the changes you made are sound changes or not, um, and basically be more in the flow and as a consequence create higher quality features in a more productive way. Now you mentioned that there's 40 Apache projects already using this. Is that is that right? Did I get that right? Yes, there's roughly 40 projects that are connected by now in their build. All they have to do is apply a plugin for Gradle or an extension for Maven. So it's literally uh, five li changes of li lines of changes of code in the build, um, and from then on, that data for these 40 projects is captured, is stored on the Devilocity server hosted by the infrastructure team at the Apache Software Foundation. Um, and they get the benefit from the insights. They can collaborate easily when something doesn't work on CI, but locally, they see what flaky tests they're having, um, and so can then prioritize which ones to fix. And they, they can also see the potential for savings if they turn on these acceleration technologies. If a project is not using this yet and wants mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. how, who do they engage with? I assume that they open a ticket with infrastructure, but what's, what's the process? Yes, that, that's, that's right, that's the process. You open a ticket with the infrastructure team. Um, they're very familiar with the process by now, having done this 40 times. And then what we typically do is we, we from Gradle, we provide a PR that, um, to that project that contains those changes. As I mentioned, they're, they're very lightweight changes and they're also very easily reversible in case somebody decides, no, we don't want this, even though this has not happened yet and hopefully it does not happen. So this is really it. And if anything, any questions then come up, we definitely discuss them on that ticket. Is this limited to a particular type of, of project or a particular programming language? Yeah, that's a good question. So what we support right now with the Velocity today is Gradle builds, Maven builds, SPT builds, um, and Basel builds. So any project using one of these build tools, they can benefit from the whole the Velocity suite. It's easy to underestimate the impact it can have on your productivity. When you have insights, you understand what's happening. You understand where things are failing, where things are not stable, where things are slow. Because once you know, it's typically quite easy to fix. But if you don't know, that, that it's like debugging your code. Once you know where the, the, the race condition is or so, it, it, it's typically easy to fix. But getting to that point, and that's what you get by connecting your projects to the velocities, that data surfaces and you can make quickly make these informed decisions. I think that, that's, that's one aspect. And the other one is having faster feedback cycles is not only interesting for contributors of these projects, but also for um, people from the community that say, hey, I want to yeah. contribute to this project. And if they can check out that project the first time and it builds in a few minutes and not in two hours, and it builds reliably because they use build caching, they have been able to optimize the build based on the build data, they're much more likely to contribute and to stay committers or contributors than, than if it's a kind of a, a challenging experience because they, they don't know who to ask for. Or when they ask for help, they, they have to send log files and 
Right? And it, it just there's a lot of friction that goes away when you have fast builds and insights what's happening in your build as a committer, as a contributor, as an infrastructure team. And if I want to read more about this tool and uh, how to implement, it sounds like implementing it is the easy part. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I want to read more about how to benefit from this tool, where to, where is that information? Mm -hmm. Yes, so on, on gradle.com, there you find out more about Develocity as a, as a whole. We also have docs.gradle.com, where you find uh, the, really the, the, the actual documentation on the product. And we also just two weeks ago launched DPE University. And you can sign up there uh, for free, of course, and you can take classes on what is DPE. You can take classes on how can I improve my Maven build, how can I benefit from build caching in Gradle. There's about 10 courses to start with, a learning path and so on. And I, I, would, I would say I would recommend that as both for projects already connected, but also projects not yet connected if they want to learn more or get into depth to go to DP University. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Rich.